new place to get help is about to open in East Palestine. It's a one-stop shop for those looking for resources following the train derailment. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti is live in the village where the U.S. EPA is getting set for the grand opening. Jerry. Good afternoon, Sam. We're awaiting about a half an hour from now to hear from the administrator of the U.S. EPA, Michael Reagan, making his third trip to East Palestine. He's been here most of the morning. He first took a tour of the, rem the remnants, I should say, of the derailment that happened here in East Palestine earlier this month. Then he went to visit students and staff at East Palestine High School. Right now, he's just down the street from where we're standing at a little bakery in town where he He's talking to local business people, I presume, all about what's been happening since February 3rd when those when that train derailed. At about 1230 this afternoon, we'll hear from him and others, and then they will cut the ribbon for this new community center on North Market Street, where we're told people in the community can come, have some of their questions answered, and other questions that they may have. We'll hopefully have more from the administrator here shortly. We'll be streaming that live on WKBN.com. For now, though, in East Palestine, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News at noon. Sam?